It is with a heavy heart that I leave the European Parliament this week. And it's all the more tragic since we know that a majority of the UK electorate want to remain in the EU. But I want to reassure you that the fight against Brexit has not been in vain. Together, we have built the continent's strongest pro-European movement. And this movement now has some crucial tasks ahead of it. Brexit isn't done, we know that's a lie. And it is therefore totally legitimate that in the months ahead, pro-Europeans demand their right to help shape our future relationship with the EU. We need to push for the closest possible relationship with our European neighbours and to uphold European values and standards. And we must resist pressure from the Brextremist ideologues who want us to become a lapdog of Trump's America. We must also hold this Brexit regime to account. The ball is very firmly in their court. As their false prospectus unravels, and the government fails to deliver any tangible benefits from leaving the EU, we must be there, ready to expose Brexit for the great act of deception and self-harm that it is. Brexit has exposed as never before how broken our democracy is. It is crucial that all progressives work cooperatively together to begin transforming our country into a genuinely representative democracy. A democracy where, as in other European countries, we have a fair and proportional electoral system. This would mean not only that in every future vote, our every vote would count equally, but it would also prevent governments who do not have majority support from pushing through a disaster like Brexit. I have to say that I don't think that right now is the time to launch a campaign to rejoin. But together we must keep alive the spirit that motivated hundreds of street stalls, thousands of rallies and millions of people to join marches. Together we will continue to stand up for freedom of movement and we will stand firm in our belief that young people deserve the same rights and opportunities the rest of us have enjoyed for 40 years and more. And one day I know all our efforts will pay off. We can depend on our young people to bring us back to the heart of Europe, where we will be welcomed with open arms.